everyone, happy Friday. I hope you've all been having a great week. And I'm really excited that I'm starting to get back into my routine now that I'm back in Florida. And let's get started with another edition of Friday Reads. So for this week, I read Web of Lies by Tracy Delaney, which features Johnny on the cover. Um, I actually got to meet Tracy when I, when Allie and I were in London at the end of May. And it was so awesome to, yeah, get to connect with an author that I speak to all the time on Facebook and actually get to meet each other in person. And it was really fun. Um, and I love this book. So let's talk a little bit more about it. So Web of Lies is about a personal assistant and her name is Dex. Um, her boss is awful, really treats her horribly, but she needs the job badly because her mother has Alzheimer's and she pays for her stay where she, um, at the nursing home where she's taken care of and she can't afford not to have this job. There is also the other main character, his name is Nate and he is an actor one day he storms into the office um, that Dex works at and barges into her boss's um, room and things go south quickly and inadvertently Dex is fired because of Nate's actions. This kind of spirals into Nate helps her get her job back. Um, she's also always had a little bit of a crush on him and she's watched his TV show. And then things kind of progress from there um, with their relationship growing and kind of building. Uh, it was kind of for her more of a friendship level at first, but for him it was always he wanted something more than just an initial friendship. They were always flirting and it kind of built in some, something more um, to more of a relationship. And the weight of the weight of having to take care of her mother by herself for the most part it really hinders Dex from just kind of living for herself because she's so worried that she won't be able to keep affording these payments because there was an increase in the bill, uh, the monthly bill, and it's just a little bit too much for her to be able to handle. Fortunately, Nate is able to get Dex her job back and even get her a raise, but even then it still isn't really cutting it. So he thinks of a plan where he will pay off all her mother's debt if she will come with him to New York for to see his family and for a wedding that um, is taking place within his family. He hates going back to New York and for reasons why you'll find out in the book that I'm not going to give away. <laughs> but she is hesitant at first because she doesn't want a handout. But it's also kind of a win-win situation because she's really starting to fall for him. And she also needs the money for her mom in order to keep paying these hospital uh, nursing home bill visits and the bill on a monthly basis. So my question for you is, do you think, what do you think happens to Dex and Nate in New York? Do you think things progress between them relationship wise, or is it more of a business arrangement where she's doing this to help her mom and he's just trying to appease his family. So if you haven't yet, check out Web of Lies by Tracy Delaney. 
and I hope you have an awesome rest of your week and a great weekend. And yeah, feel free to read a comment if you have read this book or if you have any ideas that you want to see me do for future videos. Thanks everyone.